Good morning, wherever you absolutely beautiful people are, however you are, and whenever you are, regardless if you're watching this on Monday, Tuesday, maybe 20 years from now, hey historians, I am Cameron Bebo, your one and only Bebo, here to bring you the weather this time. It's a little weird, but let's take a look. And while you do that, I'm gonna read. Oh, you're back. You can go ahead and say it, I know you missed me. However, if you want something to do that doesn't involve boosting my ego, I recommend checking out small groups. These are special little groups that the administrators host to provide assistance to multiple students at once, regarding whatever topic the group might be. Plus, they boost student interaction, and you know how much we all love student interaction. These neat little things are going to be hosted on alternating days and alternating weeks, so if you want to join more than one, you can. There's multiple topics, again, so check out the counselor's canvas page to see them. Or maybe we can get the editor scroll list down there? I don't, I don't know. Regardless, one more thing. Here we have something from the amazing folks over at S2S. As we know from last week, they'll be at the Veterans Day Parade on November 5th, and they want you to volunteer to help. You'll need to fill out the parental consent slip by November 3rd. The volunteers will be passing out candy, mini flags, and beaded necklaces to the crowd. Please wear our school colors, blue and orange if you forgot, and remember that we're small but mighty, y'all. Yeah! Now, that's all for me. Over to you. Hey everyone, we have a lot of new college information to throw at you today, and you'll probably be surprised about how many flyers I can fit onto the screen. First off, on November 4th, UNCH, or the University of Chapel Hill, is allowing selected juniors to come participate in shadowing on their campus. When you go, you'll be able to see the entire college campus and see how college life is for the students who attend there. A helpful flyer on this can be found in your high school counselor canvas with more information. And speaking of flyers, UNC Pembroke is having its own event where it's invited motivational speakers to speak with students, cultural collaborations, and possibly some significant undergrad information. Oh, we don't want to miss this one. UNC Pembroke has been emailing me about it all week. They have. I'm serious. I also want to mention the CFNC Parent and Student Night on uh, November 10th at 6 p.m. There'll be more information on that soon. And finally, I want to unveil a super duper important announcement for our seniors. While it isn't happening just yet, the day is still approaching quickly. So on November 15th, all of our graduating class should attend the meeting with Jostens. Here, they'll present more information on our class rings, our senior apparel, and our graduation supplies, such as our caps, gowns, and tassels. It's important to come to this one so you know what you'll be able to purchase for your last high school year. That's all from me. On to the next one. Hello everyone, I'm Jay Lewis, and I've got some sillies for you guys today. Our quote of the week is, no John Maloma. Not rigged, by the way. And our joke of the week is, what time is it when the clock strikes 13? <laughs> time to get a new clock. Thank you guys. Over to you. Hey y'all, it's Rhea here and I'm popping in right click to show everyone the pet of the week. This is Oreo. So Launch submitted this cute kitty through the pet of the week Google form and I love it. Now I got biased or anything. Anyways, November's high school staff member of the month is Miss Hall. Miss Hall was nominated for her engaging classes and fun energy. One student wrote, when I was having problems or issues, I went to her and she went above and beyond to help me. Another so eloquently wrote, she's the best. Duh. Way to go, Miss Hall. For November's Middle School Staff Member of the Month, we have Miss Aldridge. Nominated for her relatability and humor, Miss Aldridge is our Middle School Staff Member of the Month. When asked why they nominated her, one student said, she is like the coolest 8th grade teacher ever. Way to go, Miss Aldridge. I hope you all and more vote for December's Staff Member of the Month. That'll be the end of our broadcast. It's been great to see you this week, but that'll be all for today. Have a great morning and even a better day.